guys, how are you today? Today I'm gonna to be doing my three looks using the Flamingo palette by my lip gloss. Is this the back of it? It sure is. <laughs> Here's the front of it. I did ask you guys on Instagram if you guys wanted to see a review and tutorial or if you wanted to see three looks using the palette and most of you, a lot of you guys said you just wanted to see three looks, one palette. If you guys want to be part of my polls that I do when I ask you guys what kind of videos you want to see, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I'll have everything linked down below. I'm at everyday, everyday underscore Heidi. But yeah, if you guys want to see three looks, I do have one very super wearable everyday look, one sort of in between kind of fun look and then one sort of dramatic nighttime look or I mean it could be any time but you know we're gonna we're gonna break it up like that but anyway let's go ahead and get to it all right guys there are two times in my daily life that I do not wear super super bright colorful looks those are when I go to church and when I have like work meetings or something like that so today we're going to church <laughs> so I'm not gonna do anything too too crazy but we're gonna start with this shade right here and I'm just gonna place that all over the crease And I'm going to take the shade Flamingos. And I'm going to start on the outer corner with that one. Bring it up into the crease. And the reason that I applied that yellow was because I wanted it to pull more like orangey coral. And placing that yellow underneath makes it really pull more coral than pink. All right, so then I'm going to take the shade Island and I'm just going to place that all over the lid. I'm just going to take it on my ring finger and pop it on the lid. So then what we can do is take a little bit of sandals and place that on the outer corner. We're not going to do a lot of that color, just a little bit to deepen up the outer corner. All right, for that lower lash line, we're going to take Flamingos again, the coral shade, and just pop that all over the lower lash line. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and add mascara and brows, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just added my mascara and my brows. My mascara was the Pixie by Petra Large Lash Mascara. Um, this one dries really fast, so I feel like my lashes look a little crazy today. <laughs> but that's all right. I don't wear lashes to church, so I'm not gonna put any on today. But I think it looks really, really pretty with lashes, this look. Like, it just gives you a really fresh, awake eyes kind of look. But then I also added a little bit of liner to the waterline down here, and I just used the Pixie Matte Mulberry Eyeliner that I told you guys I am obsessed with. I love it because it lines my eyes, but it's really, really soft and nothing too crazy. I'll just go ahead and add a little bit more. Okay, so now we're going to add gloss, and I'm just going to use my Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm that you guys know I love. Alright guys, there you have the finished look. This one is definitely going to be super, super wearable. <laughs> I feel like this look could be worn anywhere. If you want to add a little bit of color that wasn't just brown on your lid, this is a great way to go if you're still needing to be very kind of light, not too in your face, very everyday. This is that look. Alright, so I think I want to create something very colorful for this look and I want to use the yellow shade. I want to make sure that yellow is going to really show up, so I'm going to use my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. Now that the white has been placed, we're going to take the shade Lemonade on a very small blending brush. And I'm just going to take that on the crease, very gently blending it upward. And I'm only going to take it on the inner third part of that crease right there. And now I'm gonna go in with the same brush and use the shade Watermelon. And we're gonna place that on the crease as well, but just on the middle of the crease. But I'm gonna take this teal shade right here, Beach Ball, and we're gonna do that on the outer third of the crease. Whoa, that is a big one, did. I'm going to take a little bit of Ocean Front and just use that to blend out this edge. So I'm going to take a very small lip brush and I'm going to spray it. I don't know if we need to spray these shadows, probably not, they're very pigmented. But I'm going to take the shade Pineapple, which is this yellow right here. And I'm just going to pop that on the inner third of the lid. We're going to match it to where the yellow ends. I'm gonna flip that brush around to the other side and we're gonna take the shade Donut. And I'm just gonna take the shade Tidal Wave on that same brush. And we're gonna take that one on the outer part of the lid. 
Now I'm going to take a really fluffy brush with no product on it and just blend those edges. I just attempted to do the lower lash line and I accidentally put the blue in the middle. <laughs> so we're, I just took it off. We're going to start over on that lower lash line. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply mascara and lashes and then I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. So I went ahead and added some brows and lashes. My brows are looking a little crazy lately. So let's just ignore that fact. Do you guys hear that? There is a huge, huge storm outside. It is pitch black. It's one o'clock in the afternoon right now. It looks like it's about 9 p.m. <laughs> so ignore the lightning if you hear it. But lashes, I'm wearing the Baddington lashes that we got in our BoxyCharm this month. Um, I really like these, they're very pretty. We can go into the lower lash line now. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like this the way it is. It's very, in my opinion, wearable like this. It just feels like something you guys could do and just like walk out the door and do your thing, you know? <laughs> so I think what I'm gonna do, oh my gosh, that thunder is very loud. I'm going to apply some of this Eye Bright Liner from Pixie to the waterline and just see how I like the look like that. What I'm going to do is take a flat definer brush like this. This is like a no-name one. I have no idea where I got it. And I'm going to start applying those same colors to the lower lash line. So I'm going to start with the yellow on the inner third of the eye. Yeah, it's definitely not showing up without that white underneath. Let's go ahead and apply some of that yellow like we were going to do before, or the shimmery yellow. I'm just going to take it around here and then take it underneath in hopes that that'll show up a little bit better. Now we're going to take the pink shade and put it on the middle. Now we're going to take a mixture of the two blues on the outer portion. Okay, now I'm just going to add some of my Pixi Big Lash Mascara, or no, Large Lash Mascara to the lower lash line. I'm going to add the Carity Lip Lock in the shade Sugary Sweet. Call me crazy, but I feel like this is such a wearable, colorful look. I love it. Anyway, that's going to do it for this look. Okay, guys, I know we used blue in like the more rainbow look, but I kind of want to use blue again because I want to do something a little bit darker, a little bit more nighttime. What we're going to do is we're going to take Ocean Front, this blue one here, and we're going to use that as a transition color. Do you guys see how nicely pigmented that is? You can actually see what the color is. Normally with a color like this, it would just look almost white on me or a little bit muddied, and this one doesn't. I feel like it looks blue, which is nice. I'm gonna take that on the lower lash line as well. We're gonna take the shade Beach Ball. I'm gonna take that on the outer corner, and then we're just kind of stamping it there for now, and we'll blend it in a little bit. And then I'm going to go in and stamp it on the inner corner as well. You know what? I kind of just want to take it all over the lid. I was going to do a halo eye, but I kind of just want to take the blue all over the lid because it's so pretty. So we're going to do that. We're going to use that same brush to carry the blue down to the lower lash line. So you guys could totally do this, add liner, mascara, or lashes, or whatever, and be good to go. And I think that would actually be a really, really pretty look. But... You guys know I gotta add some shimmer, right? <laughs> so I'm just gonna take the shade Surf and I'm gonna put that on the center of the lid. Now again, you could just leave it at that, but I wanna add a little bit of black to the outer and inner corner. I guess we are doing a halo eye now. I'm just, I'm just doing, I don't know what I'm doing today. <laughs> but we're gonna take this black shade with that same brush that we used for the blue. We're not gonna take a lot of it, but we're gonna deepen up the outer and inner corner. Once that's been placed, we'll take that teal color again and blend. From here, I'm going to add a black liner to my lower lash line, and then I'm going to smoke it out just a tiny, tiny bit, not a lot. All right, so my camera overheated, so you guys didn't get to finish the thing. All I did was finish adding the stuff to the lower lash line, and then I did mascara lashes and brows <laughs> for lashes i'm wearing the baddington lashes that came in our boxy charm this month for lips i'm going to use my sephora lip stories in tan lines all right and there we have the finished look all right guys there you have three looks one palette i hope you guys liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more and i'll see you guys in my next one Bye.